We should go over and talk to the librarian so he can do that. <laughs> it's good to involve other people. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I have a long history of collaborating with people in France. And uh, in 2002, I came for five weeks to teach a five, five uh, a course uh, at the uh, College de France. And at that time, APC was at College de France. And I got to know the people in APC. And we, I had collaborations with one of the people there before, but then started collaborating with more. And uh, when it came time for the Planck satellite launch, I had said I would come to Europe for the beginning. Uh, I applied for a chair, chair Blaise Pascal, and uh, Para 7 said they would be my host, and then I could work at APC Lab, and I thought that was a great opportunity. And so I applied for the Blaise Pascal, which I got, and I came here, and I've enjoyed it very much. I'm looking forward, I went halfway through, I'm looking forward to continue, f continue with that and to continue my association with University of Para 7 and I, up I say, because uh, I think it's an exciting laboratory to be doing work. And uh, we are going to continue the, the big international collaboration we have. One of the things that we hope will happen is that there will be strong ties continuing between Berkeley and, and APC. And, uh, but uh, with many other projects that we're talking about doing, the, the dark energy missions. We last year had a Paris Berkeley workshop. We're hoping to have another one this on dark energy. We're having to have another one on cosmology this year, and so on. Okay. So cosmology today is making very rapid advances, but it's come to the point where it's getting more closely knit, that measurements and observations of many different things all fit together, and you have to deal with all of them at once when you're trying to understand the universe, because you're trying to understand the whole universe and many phases of it. So no longer can one experiment sort of operate by itself, when you come to analyze the data, you need people from many different kinds of backgrounds to come together and, and work on the things and understand it. So one of the reasons for the center is to actually bring those pieces of expertise and make sure there's a complete set of expertise for understanding cosmology so we can make advances, think about what new observations and new things we can do, simulations, that will really let us understand it. But there's a second part, which is, well, I was very fortunate when I was young to come to where it was science was well funded and universities were well funded and they were senior mentors who would encourage you to try new things and give you advice and help you along and I hoped to make that possible for the next generation and to encourage more people to come into science and do that. So the center has the purpose of advancing cosmology but also advancing the careers of young people who can come forward and be the leaders of tomorrow.